What's up everybody? Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Uh, this is probably going to be an early upload, but as I promised you guys, I would uh, shoot some of my brew day. Um, so I shot a very little bit. Um, it was so windy out. Um, it was so windy that um, after the uh, mash, while I was heating up, and after the sparge, uh, I couldn't get my uh, wort to boil. Um, and if anything, even while the flame was on full blast, it seemed like the temperature was dropping, according to my brewmometer. Um, so it just wasn't happening. And that I let that go on for about 5 or 10, 10 minutes, and then I decided to move the operation into the brew shed um, so I opened up windows and doors and turned the exhaust fan on and within about six minutes of moving in there um, we we're almost to a boil um, and probably I was at probably a full roll rolling boil within 15 minutes of moving in there so that worked out and that was my only issue but uh i'm just gonna voice this over um because you can't hear a word i said on the uh video because it was so windy so what i'm gonna do just gonna upload that footage drink a uh, margaritaville spiked lemonade um while i voice that over uh, so enjoy the brew day. If you want to see the recipe, um, I'll probably say it in the thing. But if you want to see the recipe, I'll put a link to the uh, video. Uh, don't forget to comment. I guess commenting just down there. Don't forget to comment if you have any questions about the brew day or about the recipe itself. I'll do my best to answer. So just let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Thanks. So here we are in the uh, brew day video. I'm going to crack open this Margaritaville spiked lemonade real quick while you see these pictures. Here's the uh, mash done. And here I am about to dump some water into the mash tun. It is about 165 degrees and I'm going to add some 5.2 pH stabilizer and let it sit for a minute I should tell you right now that I'm watching this video for the first time really I edited it real quick but I'm watching it for the first time as I'm talking so I don't know what's going to happen. It's not scripted. So it's sitting and the mash tun's heating up. And it's still heating up. This spiked lemonade in bed. So here I am opening it up. It's nice and steamy. This is about three or four minutes after I dumped the water in. And now I'm dumping the grain in. And again, that was. Uh, seven pounds of pale malt, uh, two pounds of Vienna malt, four ounces of white wheat malt, four ounces of honey malt, and four ounces of crystal 40. And again, this is a blueberry summer ale. So now that it's all in, I'm going to stir it up. Get it nice and mixed in and get rid of any uh, dough balls. Here's one of my stirring techniques. If you can see all that grain getting all mixed in, you shoot it from side to side and it gets everything and stirs up everything. And It's a really good method that works real well for me. It also helps get a lot of the air out so that it gets down to temperature faster. 
I highly recommend that stirring method. So here I am checking the temperature. And the temperature is set at about 153. And I'm going to let it sit for about an hour and three minutes. And this is just something I do every brew day. I'm not really sure why. So it is about an hour and three minutes later at this point, and I'm going to start Vorloff, which is basically a very slow, um, you're trying to set the grain bed at this point and remove any grain husk particles from the uh, wort. So that's what I'm doing here just a slow runoff I'm about half open on my valve and as you can see it's real cloudy there's a lot of particles and just then I got stuck and uh, had to open a little bit more to push out a little bit of particulate I ended up running off about one total gallon I did about a third gallon each time and then would uh, put it back into the uh, mash tun. And got the grain bed roll set. And then after this is collecting of the first wart and or first run runnings and then uh, sparging. As you can see, I did not uh, film any of the sparge. I had a uh, co-worker come over and decided to show her what's all involved in brewing beer. So um, this is after the sparge and I've got about six gallons in the pot right now as you can see. Uh, I did a first wart hop so this is one ounce of Centennial that's just been sitting in there since I opened the valve and let the beer run. I ended up collecting about six and a half total gallons. I never used leaf hops or first wort hops before. So this is after my burner um, or, and all the wind just wouldn't cooperate and so I brought it inside and this is right when the boil has started. As you can see it's a real vigorous boil. Got the uh, spray bottle handy just in case a boil over happens. Fortunately none did happen. I'm almost to the end of the video and I've been talking and not drinking. So here we are with 18 minutes left in the boil. I've added my 30 minute hops which was a half ounce of Sriracha Ace, and now it's 12 minutes and 12 and a half minutes, and I've added my 15 minute hops, which was a quarter ounce of Sriracha Ace. Here is the brown ale that I brewed, and now the I'm drinking a nut brown ale that I brewed a while back. It was an extract batch, but the uh. Uh, cooling thing is in there. Uh, so here we have the cooler thingy. And three seconds left, so she's about to add the flame out hops while I flame out. <coughs> Excuse me. And so here we are cooling. Overall, it took about 30 minutes to get it cooled down to about 78 degrees and then I left stuck it inside the uh, 
brew shed with the air turned on real cold and uh, ended up pitching the yeast about four hours later and it was about 62 degrees and as you can see right here it's 122 degrees or so and that's gonna end this uh, video um, it's kind of a short brew day but I had friends over and didn't feel like filming anyway um, you can check out the uh, blueberry summer ale recipe video right here and uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.